All right, this one's important. If you are in someone's DMs um, and this is your way of generating leads for your business, I need you to be conscious of something very important. And this is something that so many people do when they get into somebody's DMs and it drives me bananas because it's actually a really bad practice and a cardinal sin. But first, this is me. So I talk from experience as a Fortune 500 consultant and a small business coach that's worked with over a thousand small businesses. When you cross into somebody's DMs, whether that's on Facebook, on IG, any platform at all, this is somebody you do not know, and you're in their DMs, you must remember that you have essentially gone into their house. You are on their territory. And if you are the sort of person that goes into somebody's house and demands that they feed you or demands that they give you something, and you're bringing that same energy into somebody's DMs, you are going to be pissing people off. Because it's the equivalent of coming into my home and saying, give me a drink, give me something, give me food, feed me. And my reaction's going to be, who the hell are you? Why should I? And people have DM fatigue because people are so annoyed at being pestered by strangers in this really rude way. So if you are the sort of person that goes into DMs, you must think more strategically. Do not go in to somebody's DMs and invite them straight away into your Facebook group. I still get people do this to me and it drives me bananas. Do not go into somebody's DMs and tell them, oh, I can help you do X, Y, Z without even looking at their profile. The amount of times I get business coaches come and approach me and tell me that they can teach me business and marketing and I have to bite my tongue. Most people hate cold DMs for a reason. So if you have to do that as a strategy, you need to be much more intelligent about the terminology and your approach. And there are ways that you can be in somebody's DMs and be intelligent about it and create a genuine connection and a genuine conversation with them. But that requires effort. And if you cookie cutter your responses to people, your prospective clients can smell that a mile off because it stinks and people aren't stupid. So if you have to do it, be intelligent about it. And if you want a proper strategy on how to do lead generation, you know where to find the links. And if you are somebody that gets cold DMs, let me know what you think of them in the comments. It should be fun. (laughs) 